Hey, uh, happy, well, lunchtime, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's 11.58 in the a.m. on Saturday. Welcome back to the den of iniquity that is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your original Big Shave Best Champion, as always. And today, thanks to uh, a subscriber and commenter, and I just did, you know, I did the Leaf versus the Defender. By the way, I checked the packaging, and uh, Defender blades are made in Israel. I wonder if the rest of the razor is as well. Uh, made in Israel, so that's just in case you wanted a country of origin on that, I don't. I'm not going to talk about the leaf. I don't know where it's made. I forget. <laughs> yeah, check the website. But we're going to do another razor comparison. This was Jim's suggestion of my currently two favorite overall razors. Especially this is. See, I shaved Sunday, so this is growth on Monday. Growth on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is six days growth. So we're going to tuck in with. The Blackbird versus the Christopher Bradley from Carve. And they both have my favorite blade, the Gillette Stainless in there, brand new. So we're going to have even blades. Now I know blade gap, um, head geometry, etc. It's not going to be the same kind of technique and texture. This, You have to hold the angle, as you can see it sets it pretty prominently. you got to hold that and let the razor do the work. This one really simple to go it's a grab and go razor especially if you go on a milder plate like your daily shaves like a b plate or so definitely a milder um shaver this is a c plate which is my go-to especially um if i'm daily with the right blade or if uh, i got a couple days growth i just want to use it it's one of the best grab and go um, head geometries you don't have to look too much into it it's just an amazing shaver so is this one so I also looked at my, my beard mapping and I, I guess the hair grows this way. It's more, it's more diagonal this way. And so when I do this, I guess I'm going cross grain. So really against the grain would be back this way, like down and then up to about here. Then it's pretty straight down. It's a bit diagonal on the cheeks, but, and a bit diagonal all the way down. So kind of a this way and then against would be back this way. Uh, same roughly for for here, so really I, I should, probably should take more of an angle with the width and against. Uh, beard, uh, no swirls. This first I've really looked at it for some reason, so I'm going to look at the mirror. But I don't see any swirls. Mustache, pretty normal. Down and then down this way. Um, so not really any complicated areas. No swirls, just... Like, this is a little down this way, so back up. This is kind of straight, and this this way. This one apparently goes, and then it goes, this is with the grain to a point down, and this way, and then again, so it would be down and back up. I know I've been doing kind of a across the grain, so maybe that's kind of my third pass across with this area when I clean it up, but now we know a little more. So, like I said, black one, blackbird, stainless steel versus the carve. Uh, Christopher Bradley brass razor C plate and I forget the blade gap on this but efficient not not R41 aggressive but mind your angle and hold it nicely let it work good weight on both razors steels heavier longer handle of course I love both razors I really do we're gonna go with the the crown king fragrance free we're gonna start with the cube I'm out of the shower now this is my hair styled as you know the last video it got sweaty but you know, I, I, it's it's about a week or so since I cut it. I think I cut it on Friday night last week. So, you know, I could use a little blend back in here a little more. with uh, I think I can use some tapering uh, clipper guards. But overall, this is what it is when it's dry, styled, and I'm not sweating and just out of the shower. Humidity's out of the room. I got a Dyson fan going. So, then we're going to finish off with 2-in-1. I have it out since I did my favorite, you know, my top... My, Five, four, three, two, one video. And fragrance today. I'm gonna to see my girlfriend. Yes, I have a girlfriend, and she's very lovely and uh, five nine and pretty fit. <laughs> so don't, sometimes, gentlemen, be real, be you. She seen me thinner. She seen me. I've lost ten pounds since I've been home and just watching. I've actually been dieting, like using Nutrisystem and stuff again, and watching my intake versus hanging out. So whatever damage I, I did to get back up to where I was, which is almost was was two sixty eight. I'm down to uh, two fifty eight, give or take. Waking up in the morning and whatever food weight I have prior to. So start good start, and we're gonna keep going. And Mel, 
Thanks for the encouragement, by the way. Keep up the good work. And with that, I'm going to follow up with a... Well, people call it a clone, an inspired expression, whatever you want to call it. Alexandria Fragrances Royal Equestrian. This is an extra to parfum, so it's 30 milliliters. I've sprayed it twice, maybe or three times, once for a test. And it is a take on Parfums de Marley Layton, which is my favorite scent and my girlfriend's, which is awesome. And I'm going to be using this one. They smell amazing. There's apple, there's other notes. Look it up. Um, this bottle, I suggest find online versus do not go to retailers. Find online. I actually bought this from a guy who sells on Facebook. He's very reputable. Really great price on this. I forget what I paid. I think I paid $169. It's usually about a two, it's usually $195 or $205 or I don't know. It's it's up there. It's not Creed prices, but it's getting up there. So this one, less expensive. Check for coupons, Alexandria Fragrances, not just, I'm just saying, this is an excellent clone. I'd say it's spot on, and you need about one spray, and it just carries. So with that, so now you know what I'm using today. I wanted to say one thing before we go on. I know that this hobby, if you go down the rabbit hole, gets expensive. I know starters, people say, don't break the bank on fancy razors, get something inexpensive. So based, and based on that, and this is the only political statement I'm going to make, I have decided personally where my, you know, where my money's going to go for any further shave gear, and it will be from products not made in China. So Yagi, whatever, not dealing with you. I don't want any brush people contacting me that make knots in China. I'm, I don't need any more brushes. Um, I'm not going to sell off what I have if it was made in China. I'm not going that, but I'm not spending my money there anymore. So all, all you uh, all, all artisans, manufacturers of that, if you're making products in China, I'm no longer buying them because their government screwed up the COVID-19 outbreak so badly that I'm done uh, sending my pittance of money in the world scheme to them. I will look elsewhere for my products, but again, if you see wet shavers out there on Facebook and they're looking for a starter, um, offer to sell stuff to them that you bought and recoup that money and give them a fair price as opposed to sending them to, um, to a Yagi or, or whatever to get inexpensive products. That's, that's the opinion. That's, that's Ken's opinion and that's my choice I'm making. I, there's so many more things I could say in, for another time, but my shaving products will no longer be purchased from anyone if they're made in China. Sorry. I'm gonna also look for other things in my life and if they're made in China, if I accidentally buy them, I accidentally buy them, but I'm gonna be very label conscious. I'm not saying I'm gonna be all made in the USA, but I'm not buying from the Chinese anymore. We could be Taiwan, it could be other places, just not, that's not China proper, I'm done. So with that, Sorry if uh, that offends anyone. I'm talking about the government and how they handled this, not people. But that's that's where I'm going with this. So let's take that with take that as you like. All right, so let's get into the shave. Get some well, I'm gonna get some more water going, wet the face, and we'll start getting into this razor comparison. Yeah, the face looks a little better. Of course, the way this screen looks is probably a little elongated, but yeah, hair's not bad. <laughs> It's been cool these days, man. We, 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 yesterday was a little warmer, but it, we had some rain and cool fronts moving in. It is mid-April, man. April 18th. All right. Little cube. Get it in the bristles. I've already out of the shower, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. Thank you, Nick Shays. I'm going to leave the excess on here. And I and uh, Phoenix um, Shaving, besides their CK6 line, they converted everything that's non-CK6 over to the Crown King formula, which is the higher cocoa butter formula, which I actually prefer to the regular PAA stuff. So I, I have some older, I guess it's the 3.0. I have the older stuff. Um, most of mine, I don't think I need two fives. I think it's all 3.0. And, uh, you know what? I left my brush in there. Hang on. <laughs> I was cleaning it out in the shower. All right, thanks for that. Uh, I'm going to go with the Atomic Rocket brush since it was basically handy. Wet the brush. I don't have my distilled water um, 
So it looks like groceries are normalizing. Pa toilet paper is still a little hard to come by, but a lot of everything else is kind of evening out now that we're calming down and the stores have a bit of a chance to restock. So let's see, that should be enough. So yeah, no more Chinese uh, made products for, for uh, Ken here. That's no BS, that's real talk. So support your American artisans who make uh, brushes. I know, I mean, if, you, if they're making brushes, I know knots are synthetic or otherwise, I'm sure they're sourced out of China. So that's gonna be tough to come by and I understand. I just don't need any more shaving brushes as beautiful as it is. I would actually like a brush guy brush. I'm sad I never bought one. But find out. Ask your artisans where they source their knots, where they're from, and uh, see if the uh, and see you still make that choice. But support your local artisans who make brushes. Because at least they're you're paying them for it. And a grand part of that money goes to, to their to buying them buying knots from their sources and raw material. But but at least an American or or other other country person where that money doesn't all that money doesn't go back to China, some will support them. I just say support them. Keep some of that money here. When you buy a razor, look where it's made. I know I'm talking about this and we really should be into the shave, but it's been bothering me the last few days with everything going on. So, well, I'll stop now. All right. All right, Jim, this for you. Let's get into the shave with the carb versus, versus the uh, Blackbird. So I'm gonna start with the carb and I'm gonna start on my right side. You feel those hairs being cut because when you get enough growth, razor, it's gliding as best it can with the hair growth, but it's smooth. Let me do just half the face. You know what? To be fair, we're gonna let the soap sit. Now I'm gonna switch to the the blackbird. We're gonna let the soap sit in the denser areas, the chin and the mustache. And for newer viewers, I I stretch my face by opening my mouth. I've been ragged on it earlier in, in the years making making videos, and that's fine. That's just my choice. And we'll go with the grain in the spot we identified. Okay, so initial comparison on the cheeks and neck. Uh, the This one did a, a better job in, on the initial pass, but then again with the Leaf versus the Defender, the Leaf did a better on the first pass than the Defender. It came back, was a slow starter, but came back in the second pass, and they ended up being a very equal shave. All right, so let's go back to the carve, and let's do our mustache and chin. Nice.
Man, a lot of hair. <laughs> okay, let's do the, I'll do it into the. I want to get those lip areas that get tucked in once the, the face is a stretch. All right. So let's talk about our pass one feel. Pass one feel. Much more efficient razor on with the way this one is. Of course, I could go to, I have a D open comb, which would really pick this up in the initial phases. This one did a better job mowing. It felt a little more uh, efficient. I think I rushed a spot here to where I didn't really catch it right, so let's be fair. All right. This one's easier to manipulate around the chin. This one is not quite as, so you need to more do what you may have seen Mantic 59 talk about or other people talk about shave like a diamond where you really flatten out your areas. Definitely more efficient on the first pass. Uh, felt smoother because of its efficiency, not feeling like it was missing. or This one didn't skip or anything, but you can tell the feedbacks were different, or I could if you couldn't hear it. Um, first pass... Definitely a blackbird. It's just an, an, a better, a more efficient razor. Shade feels about the same though. All right, I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna reload. I think I did this last time too. Oh. Mix it with residue. Feeling around. Relatively close shape. So let's start with the, let's lather up again too. Duh. I really shouldn't be rubbing my face, but I want to feel that shave. A little bit of irritation. From rubbing out. So, mistake on Ken's part. Try to get the lathers even, also, for fairness. All right. Let's go with our against the grain pass, which I guess is really kind of diagonal this way for most of it. And then it's going to be uh, this way and up. So let's start. Let's start with our trouble spot. And since we're oh, since we already did the initial uh, takedown, let's go and do the chin. A little more than halfway, but that's fine. All right, let's. I'm gonna rinse and let's hit the mustache.
tips with the blackbird hold the angle watch your pressure because you will you can get I got a tiny weeper going but okay this shade's almost good to go already all right let's get back to the let's get to the carve Yeah, for those who think blade gap is everything, blade gap is not everything. Head geometry and your face and your blade choice and how it matches up to the razor's blade uh, head geometry make the biggest of a gap. I mean, a timeless 0.95 is super smooth, but it's not a big gap. But you've got smaller gaps on other razors, and it's you got different blade exposures and stuff, and they're more aggressive. So. Car is Canadian, by the way. Uh, uh, Blackland is U.S. Let's uh, rinse. Let's take a let's take a feel around. All right. So I'm gonna pat dry. Hair still holding good. <laughs> Decent product if you need a cheap styling paste. This Suave uh, Professionals Men's about four bucks at my grocery store. If you're out of whatever you use normally, normally I use Pete and Pedro from uh, Aaron Marino. Um, I use the, the clay, but this stuff, little it goes a long way for the price, 1.75 ounces. Not bad, and I use a sea salt, uh, like a pre-styler or whatever, but I, I thin it, I emulsify with this and put it in, it makes it a little lighter and distributes better. And um, my hair itself is pretty thick, although I'm, I'm getting kind of thin right back here for old 47 here. And, and that's just the way it is. Not bad. If you want it cheap, don't use a lot. You don't need a lot in your hair, okay? But just a little, little bit and less, like uh, maybe a dime, depending on your length. All right. So let's feel. Uh, a little closer on the mustache. Not same on the chin. This like it could be a technique issue. Spot where I need to touch up. That's my usual spot. Neck is a little closer with less touch up. That's good. So yeah, uh, I got to take down here, which is a trouble spot for me too. Some lower hairs. Um, but honestly, pretty close. I would say. Now, this is not a fair head-to-head -head comparison, obviously, because of all the, even though the blades are the same, the razors are obviously different, but this was just asked for for two favorite razors currently. I'd say for a quicker shave that's a little closer, go with the Blackbird. Uh, but if you want a grab-and-go razor that's very easy to find and get going with, the Carve Christopher Bradley in whichever configuration is best for you a uh, c-plate works for me as daily little creeper there also but overall i mean 
both good shavers. It really comes down to your personal preference, your taste, your technique, and your prep, and whatever else you got. So let me do another rinse, and I'm going to hit the owl block. I'm going to close some of these up. Little creeper there, it's talking to me. Feedback for scraping off six days. Not counting your trouble spots. A uh, little bit, a little bit of feedback. But you know, I let my skin heal for for six days, so it's a it's fresh and talking to me. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit in, but I'm gonna pat dry the excess liquid. Once the hair goes down, we'll know for sure. And I will do a follow-up on that. By the way, the um, I don't think I talked about the... I was going to mention how the Leaf and the Defender did the last video. It was about dead heat. Really a dead heat. I checked it for days. The days still checked the growth rates. Uh, about a dead heat. So super efficient razor. Uh, after you, When you get into your second pass, I had no issues with my face. No ingrown starting. No... Uh, razor burn, nothing like that. Now these these particular the green blades aren't aren't uh, this isn't made anymore, so it's all the all black configuration. I think they still do normal and the extra sensitive. So these are extra sensitive. These are super smooth. Also, like I said, made in Israel. And, you know they make some good blades. So leave that alum on, and let's do our Nivea two phase. It comes like this. I don't know if it's I think it's called maybe something else. A few other countries. Chris the uh, maiden sent this to me from Australia, so let's shake it up. Get it together. A couple splashes. Let the alcohol die down just a little. This is one that's nice because it has glycerin. So you'll get you know you get you get the humectant quality, keep you know moisture in. And replenish moisture plus it has your aftershave quality while well, I'm talking about it hit up that spot all right <laughs> so yeah very nice stuff nice clean scent nice cooling to it great aftershave uh, wish I don't know what it is that we can't get it in America and then let's go with our um, Royal Equestrian two sprays only I'm gonna not go anywhere for a couple hours so we'll settle down but it's gonna hang a while so Blackland Blackbird Carve Shaving Company Christopher Blad 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 Bradley Razor excuse me um, both with Gillette stainless blades made in uh, St. Petersburg Russian factory for Gillette. What's left of my original cube, non-mentholated. And let's see what else. Nivea Two Phase Atomic Rocket Brush, and uh, the fragrance-free Crown King uh, Shave Soap from Phoenix Shaving and Alexander Fragrances <laughs> Royal Equestrian. With that, uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, both good razors, six days growth, did a great job on it. I don't know, I'll take your thoughts and comments. I appreciate you watching as always. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers, too sweet to all good bros and good sisters out there. Champ loves you. Think about your choices. I understand everyone, it's, it's all personal. It's, this is all personal preference. I'm not trying to say you need to do this. I'm just gonna be more aware where my money goes from now on. And with that, take care. Champ loves you. I'll talk to you later.